recruiting, you know, they talk a lot about double teaming and this and that and all the different strategies, but does it really come down to who makes shots because that's the way the game's set up and the last game you guys did and their big two didn't make two for them. I think making shots helps, for sure, if you want to win basketball games. But I think uh, how we work to get the best shots that we can get and how we work to try to get the other team to take the worst shots that they can get, ultimately, over the course of a seven-game series, I think, is what uh, really helps. And then, obviously, uh, yeah, I mean, if you got you, you, you got to make shots. You got to score. You got to finish uh, in order to increase your chances to win. Sure. Sometimes guys that can shoot off balance and, and making shots, and guys can be good looks and not make shots. And you go. I mean, if it's it comes down to yeah, in one game that can happen. But I think once again, I think the percentages over the course of a series eventually gonna cancel it itself. You know, uh, it's a. Uh, Oh, if it's somebody that's really good at making off-balance shots, we got to make sure that we make him do something else. But um, but yeah, it, it, that's the beauty of the playoffs. You know, it's it's about uh, being the best team over the course of a seven-game series. Rudy, what makes you guys so good in elimination games? You win game six and seven against Denver the other night. Uh, I think we just have a lot of guys that believe and that are. I want to win, you know, and obviously it's when you're on the brink of getting eliminated uh, from your goal, from your dream, uh, uh, sometimes maybe the urgency and everything else is, uh, is at a higher level. Lively was getting him some things in the low block there and he missed last game. Does that make them a much different team, just a little different team when you contact? Uh, for sure. I mean, he brings a lot of energy uh, to this team, uh, but Gafford has been playing great. Uh, and he's the same type of player, brings a lot of energy, makes a lot of uh, very explosive plays. And uh, uh, and Kleber came back and gives them a different, uh, kind of a different look, trying to space the floor. So, uh, I mean, they have a lot of guys that can come in and, and impact the game. You know, I think for us, it's really about our mindset and, uh, and, and yeah, and the way we play offensively and defensively. With, with the, nothing you do about more things have it, but what? Physical games, the travel, and whatnot. How does everybody feel about the every other game, every other day rhythm of the series? Uh, I don't know about everybody feels, but for me, I'm. Uh, I don't mind it. I mean, so it's intense for sure, but uh, it's kind of a rhythm, you know. And uh, you get one day travel, and one day a game. Especially now, you know, you don't have two games in a row in the same city. So um, for sure, it's it's uh, it's pretty intense. What did you guys do differently or better down the stretch defensively to, to kind of limit Dallas in ways that maybe you did in previous games? Um, I mean, I think I think a lot of some of the things that we did weren't completely different than when we did the other game. I think we did a great job trying to uh, not fouling, you know, not bailing them out with reaching fouls, you know, uh, try to play with show our hands and, and do all these things and. Uh, and I think our execution, you know, defensively was really, really good, you know, down the stretch. Also, not turning the ball over uh, really helps, <laughs> you know, in a, in a close game. It was great. It was great to see him, uh, you know, getting getting active. You know, see him like. Uh, with us, you know, he's always with us. But seeing him, uh, you know, uh, like on the court, uh, get attacked too. But it was, in a way, it was cool to see him like get on the court and then uh, really like being even more active with us. Can you figure out the way a game gets called uh, in the first few minutes, like they say? Every no, time or no. Never know. You just gotta go. Just gotta play basketball, and you know and try to do your best to navigate those things and sometimes you think it's a physical game and then you do this and they call foul so you, you just got it's, it's tough and it's tough for the officials too you know i mean it's not a easy it's a very difficult job that they do so uh, just try to you know uh, do our best to to play uh, as physical as we can but also 
as clean as we can too. Okay. Look at Carrie, you were very efficient before mobile. Um, how much do you think that this was like the work that you did to figure out what covers to do or offline for them? Uh, I mean, every game we try to make them work as hard as we can, try to make their life as difficult as we can. Uh, and obviously, game three, they were really, really successful. They hit, uh, yeah, they were making a lot of tough shots. Uh, but for us, it's just about, yeah, keep, stay consistent in what we do and just praying that they don't, they don't make those shots. Prior to game four at shoot around and, and the pregame locker room, it just felt loose. Like it, it just didn't seem like you guys were a group that were too you know, tense about the moment. What's allowed you, if that's, ac if that's an accurate, description from me, like what's allowed you guys to stay that way uh, facing uh, this damage? I think we we have a lot of trust in who we are. Uh, we've been through a lot of adversity as a group. Um, and we believe, you know, we believe and we understand that, you know, the, although we, we're really locked in right now, every day, every practice, we understand that the work didn't start today. You know, the work started uh, and since I got here two years ago, but you know, for individual is different. And as a team, yeah, it started two years ago already uh, when we try to find who we are, our identity. And, uh, and yeah, we, we, we trust in that. We have a lot of, we, we are aware that there's, you know, I mean, we lost two games at home that could easily have been, uh, it could easily be flipped, you know, and we could be up 3 1 right now. So it's a, uh, you know, um, yeah, it's, it's a very good team, and and uh, they're playing great basketball. But for us, we we gotta keep trusting in who we are, and we we believe in giving us giving ourselves the best chances that we can to to uh, have a chance to to hopefully win another game and see what happens.